This is my third time filming this video because I deleted all the footage. Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to balance school and keeping pets. The first tip that I have for you is meal prepping your animal's food. I'm going to use bearded dragons and crested geckos as examples because those are the animals that I meal prep for. I cut Puff's greens up the day that I get them. This is usually dandelion greens or collard greens. I basically just chop it up really finely and then put it in a Tupperware container with some paper towel and pop it in the fridge. That way when I do prepare her food for that day, I can just take a handful of it and put it in a bowl. I also suggest chopping up any other vegetables the night before. For my crescent geckos, what I do is I make a big batch of rapashi or pangea and then I just pop it into an ice cube tray and stick that in the freezer. That way when it does come time to feed my crested geckos, I just pop out the frozen pangea or rapashi, add a little bit of water so that it can defrost and then just put it in my enclosure. The second tip that I have for you is to spot clean your enclosures every single day. This is really just going to help you when it comes time to do your big clean, there won't be as much to do. So basically I just go around to every single one of my enclosures and I just clean out any poop or uneaten food. The third tip that I have for you is about bonding with your animals when you have a lot of schoolwork to do. If your pets are like mine and love to chill out with you, then you could actually just take them out and bond with them while you're doing your schoolwork. I know that Puff will sit on my shoulder or on my lap while I'm working on my computer. If you're wanting to bond with your pets but they're not sitting still, you can always set up a little bit of a playpen and then just sit inside the playpen while doing your schoolwork and letting them roam around. Number four is that you should definitely try to get in the habit of waking up about 30 minutes before you actually have to get up. That way you could do a quick walk around of all your enclosures and make sure that everyone is looking okay. That extra 30 minutes, if there is an emergency, you could either deal with that emergency or have the time to call into work or school and let them know you won't be coming in because there has been a pet emergency at home. Hopefully that never happens to you though because that is the worst feeling in the world. Number five is if you're still living at home with your parents either write up some information sheets on how to care for the animals or actually go through with whoever is willing to listen and teach them how to take care of your animals this will really help if you're running late one morning or you're not going to be back until late at night that way they could just fill in for you that's all the tips that I have for you today, but I do have a lot more, so if you would like to hear those in a future video, leave a comment down below and like this video so that I know that you want to see more videos like these. That's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on when I post my next video. All of my social media are always linked down below if you want to keep updated on my pets as well as my life. I will see you guys next week for another video. Video. Yeah.